guys. Welcome to Watch Me Wednesday. All right, so I don't think I have paint on my face. <laughs> if you guys use DIY paint, you know when you get to the bottom and it kind of gets crusty around the lid and on the sides and you knock it all down and you put water in it to reconstitute it, you stir it all up. Well, sometimes you're digging at it and it splashes back at you when you're sitting here ready to go live. So you've got paint everywhere. All right. <laughs> So that happened to me today. Um, yeah, I may have paint in my hair. All right. So anyway, what we're going to do today is we are going to paint this guy. I got him all sketched on there. I don't know how well you can see the sketch on the camera, but this is what we're going to start on today. And um, he's going to be pretty abstract. I've got a pretty good um, drawing of him, but he will be abstract. Okay, guys. What we've got here is I'm taking a little bit of mermaid tail, and I'm just outlining my horse um, and getting a little bit of a background in here. We're going to refine it later, but we want to um, get it started and get an idea of where we're going with this painting. Okay, and now I've got faded burlap, and these are DIY um, clay-based products, and I'm just going to continue on up the canvas here, and the mermaid tail and the um, faded burlap will mix on the canvas as we go up. Um, and I'm okay with that. Like I said, we will be doing some more stuff, and I do like that blended look. So now I've got uh, Bohemian Blue, and I'm just going to go through and outline my horse. Um, I do want the horse to have some darker colors in there and be a little dramatic and so we're going to go through and get our outline done um, of this horse and then we'll pull that color in and out now here what i've done is i didn't quite follow the outline of my horse so i just blended in some more uh, to get that neckline uh, put in properly Now I've just got some little black dress and I'm going to go in here and get an idea of the tail and the mane and where we're going with those. And so I'm just going to get some representation of the different area of the horse's, horse put in there. Now we're going to go in and do a little bit with some prairie gray. And I'm um, just getting it in there, mixing it in some with the... Uh, outline that we did in the bohemian blue and um, just getting a good base coat to work with on this horse Now when you see the paint magically lighten up, brighten up again, it's because I've sprayed it with water. Um, when this paint is wet, it's vibrant. When it starts drying out, it mutes down because of the clay. And then when you seal it, those colors come back alive. Now I've just put some more mermaid tail in and I'm going in with some cake batter up here on the top and getting a little bit more... Uh, definition the way I want it in the background and I'm using a palette knife to pull that down and through and water to mist and try to get some runs going and now I've got a little bit of old 57 that I'm going in here to lighten it as we go towards the top 
and I just want to get some interest and movement going in that background. Okay, and now I'm just taking, I misted my horse, I'm taking that paint, like I said, this is an abstract. So I have the basic shape, but I'm just taking that paint and dragging it out um, from the horse. So it looks like there's movement in the horse, that the horse is moving. I'm taking some more prairie gray and adding back in there. Um, doing a little bit more pulling of the paint. And we're just going to continue to go back and forth until we get something that we're happy with. Um, the majority of this horse will be done in prairie gray and um, bohemian blue. And right now I'm putting a little bit of cake batter in to um, give some definition to the hawks there. And um, so I'm just kind of going back and forth and pulling paint out and adding paint in and just playing and getting the definition and the movement that I want in this piece. So yes, you will see me using my fingers and paper towels and all kinds of different things um, to get effects that I like and to try different things. Um, I'm going to just continue to layer until I'm happy and um, I like what's going on. Um, and I'm going to pull paint off, add paint on. Um, you'll see here in a second, I get carried away with tail and um, I lose all shape and dimension and it just starts taking over the entire back of the horse and I don't like that and so um, once I get that on there and I decide oops gone a little too far here with this I just go about scraping it off and washing it down and taking it off and then doing some more work with the background um, to cover up where I had that boo-boo. And so remember guys, it's just paint. You can make boo-boos and you can fix it. And um, sometimes the boo-boos are the happy accidents that happen um, because you wouldn't have had those characteristics in the painting if you hadn't uh, experimented and and done things and redone things and pulled it out and added it back in and um, <clears throat> just changed things and layered things and that's the great thing about paint there is really no right or wrong answer it's what your vision is and you just can continue to add and layer until you get the effects that you want Okay, so I'm just adding in some darker down around the belly and trying to get those uh, legs and um, the belly shaped right and add it in there um, and want to get a little bit more uh, color here in the rump and I'm just not happy with what I've got going on. Um, and so I continue to just play bring in more of that color. I do like the colors I've got going on, um, but I want to continue to layer until I get it just the way I want. Now I am taking a product. It's called Pennies from Heaven. It's a copper patina. Um, it's actually a top coat, but in this case I am using it just to accent this painting. Um, I just want that little bit of shimmer and shine. 
And so here is our finished painting. I hope you enjoy these videos. And if you do, please subscribe to my channel. Thank you and have a good week.